So the last type of problem we're going to be working on today is going to throw in all the information that we've learned the past few days into this one problem. So looking at this problem, it reads two parentheses, 4x plus 7, close parentheses, minus 5 equals negative 5 parentheses x plus 6. So the first thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to draw my lines around my equal sign so that I know to keep this equation balanced. So the first question I have to ask myself is can I simplify the left or right side of the equation? Well, looking at my left sign, I can see that I'm actually going to be multiplying right here. I'm actually going to be distributing my 2. So that's the first thing I'm going to do because I can simplify this. So I'm going to say that 2 times 4x, and I'm going to say 2 times 7, and then I'm just going to rewrite my minus 5 because my parentheses closed, so I cannot distribute that 2 to the negative 5. So 2 times 4x is equal to 8x, 2 times 7 is positive 14, and then minus 5. So I can still simplify though because I have my positive 14 and my minus 5. So I'm going to bring down my 8x and I'm going to say that positive 14 minus 5 is going to get you plus 9. So now the left side of my equation is completely simplified. Now I have to look at the right side. The right side reads negative 5 parentheses x plus 6. So because my negative 5 is touching my parentheses, I know that I'm going to have to distribute my negative 5 to each term inside the parentheses. So I'm saying negative 5 times x minus 5 times 6. Well, negative 5 times x is going to get me negative 5x, and negative 5 times 6 is going to get me negative 30. So to keep this all in line, I'm going to rewrite this again. And I'm going to say negative 5x minus 30. So my equation now reads 8x plus 9 equals negative 5x minus 30. I have completely simplified both sides of my equation. The next step is, are my variables on the same side? The answer to that is no. I have an 8x on my left side and a negative 5x on my right side. So what I need to do now is reverse GEMDAS. So I'm going to write my GEMDAS down here. And I always start from the bottom and work my way up. So I can see for this problem that I have subtraction. And I also, for my variables, I have subtraction. We're going to stop there for a minute. So if my variables have subtraction, if is my 5x, again, I always like to move the smaller number. So the inverse, the opposite of a negative, the opposite of subtraction is going to be addition. So I'm going to add 5x to my right side. And if I add 5x to my right side, I have to add 5x to my left side. Well, negative 5x plus 5x is going to get me 0, so they cancel out, and that is called a 0 pair. I write my positive 5x on my left side under my 8x because those are my like terms. So 8x plus 5x is going to get me, I believe, 13x. I'm going to bring down my positive 9, rewrite my equal sign, and I'm going to bring down my whole negative 30. Do not forget the negative. So now my equation reads 13x plus 9 equals negative 30. So are all my variables on the same side? Yes. They are both on my left side. So step 2 is done. The next step is finishing the problem and getting x all alone. So I can see that I have, I can see that I have some addition, and I also see that I have multiplication. So what I'm going to do is I'm always going to move what is on what is on the side with my variable. So right now I have a positive 9 with my variable. So the inverse of a positive is going to be a negative. So the inverse of addition is going to be subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 9 from my left side, and I'm going to subtract 9 from my right side. If I have positive 9 and I subtract 9, that is going to equal 0, and that will be a 0 pair. 
I'm going to rewrite my 13x, rewrite my equal sign, and now I have negative 30 minus 9. Well, that is going to equal negative 39. When I'm adding two negatives, it creates a bigger negative. The next step I have is I have a multiplication symbol between my coefficient and my variable, between my 13 and my x. The opposite, the inverse of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide my left side by 13, and if I divide my left side by 13, I also have to divide my right side by 13. Well, 13 divided by 13 is going to cancel out and equal 1. So I'm going to rewrite that as 1x. Now on the right side, I have negative 39 e divided by 13. Well, a negative divided by a positive is going to get me a negative. Remember my triangle. And 39 divided by 13 is going to get me 3. So my x is equal to negative 3, and that will be my final answer for this problem.